Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey! safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere.
the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide... What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Sure, this is the place. It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! What the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. 
to some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That didn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. Driver's license says... Michael Graham. Credit card. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. started hitting me again and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? Was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and go on their way. Never had any trouble with androids. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me.
Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be... saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. Stake somewhere. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here.
They're getting away! Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. Cyberlife Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. 
I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! There you are! What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives.
A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down but at least we won't meet any humans along the way malfunction detected emergency brakes activated this doesn't look good shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. A 
Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Here. That way we won't be smoked out. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Before his lock go? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? I like the sound of it. 
but I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. My name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Our guest. The little one can climb on board. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, 
produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think.